Hello students, in this video I am going to talk about the combinational circuit that is multiplexer. Multiplexer is also known as data selector or commonly known as MUX. Let us start. A multiplexer is a device that allows digital information from several sources. As you can see, digital information from several sources to be routed onto a single line for transmission over that line to a common destination. So this is of a common destination that is why. The basic multiplexer has several data input lines and a single output line. Generally a multiplexer is termed as n cross 1 where n are the number of input lines we have and one output is going to be there that is why where M is termed as the select lines. The function of select line is just to select that which input signal will be collected across the output signal. And how to calculate the number of select lines? This is the formula for that. That is 2 raised to power of M is equal to N. Where M is the number of select lines we have and N is the input signals we have. So this is a common example which I have taken where the input number of input signals we have are 4 and one output signal is there. These are the two select lines which will be used for 4 cross 1 multiplexer. So now basically what is the function of a multiplexer? With the help of select line we can choose that which input signal will be collected across the output signal. So that means when the select lines are 0 0 this mp3 player will be collected across the output that is our surround sound bar. When the input signals are 0, 1, laptop input will be treated as the output. For 1, 0, digital satellite will be treated as output. And for 1, 1, our digital cable TV will be treated as output. So this is the application of a multiplexer. The first example which I am going to take over here is 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Let us discuss the block diagram first. In a 2 cross 1 multiplexer, we can have two input signals termed as A0, A1, one output signal that is Y. Now let us decide that how many select lines will be used for a 2 cross 1 multiplexer. The same formula which I have written over here once again, 2 raised to power of M is equal to N. But now over here, N is equal to 2. Hence, the value of M that is the number of select lines comes out to be equal to 1. So that means only one select line which is S0 will be used for the implementation of 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Next is the truth table and boolean expression. As we have just one select line, so two combinations can be written. Either select line S0 is equal to 0 or select line S0 is equal to 1. And only one output is there, that is Y. Now let us try to understand that how a multiplexer will actually work. When the select line is 0, that is S0 is 0, a0, the first input signal will be collected across the output signal. The second case, when select line S0 is 1, second input that is A1 will be collected across the output signal. And the Boolean expression as in the block diagram, we were only having a single output. That is why only a single value, single Boolean expression will be written over here. Now, how to write down the Boolean expression? This is very easy with the help of truth table we have. First is S0 0 as I am going to use the SOP method that is sum of product method. So S0 0 means S0 bar dot A0 plus S0. Why S0? Because its value is 1. S0 dot A1. So this is the Boolean expression for 2 cross 1 multiplexer. Next, the logic circuit diagram and also we are just going to use a single hierarchy to implement the logic circuit diagram in all the cases of a multiplexer. Draw the select line, the number of select lines we are having. Right now we are just having one select line. And draw a, draw a not gate so that you can get the, the complement of select line that is S0 bar. Okay, so here we were just having a single select line. So S0, this whole line is connected with S0 and here we have S0 bar. Now let us try to calculate the value. The Boolean expression was S0 bar dot A0. So this is S0 bar dot A0 dot means AND gate. Next is S0 dot A1. So this line is S0. So S0 
dot a1 dot means and gate and there is a plus in between both plus means or gate so this is how you can implement any of the logic circuit diagram of multiplexer and the last but the most important point always compare the logic circuit diagram with the block diagram earlier in the block diagram i have mentioned two input signals so let me just draw a block diagram over here this is a kind of a block diagram we were having earlier and this is the inside portion of the block diagram so in the block diagram we were having two input signals which are correct one select line which is also correct and one output signal hence we are able to implement the same logic circuit diagram for the given block diagram next example is 4 cross 1 multiplexer so now again let us begin with the block diagram 4 cross 1 means we are having total four input signals over here a0 a1 a2 and a3 how many select lines now will be used let us use the same formula once again so now n is equal to 4 4 is written as 2 raised to power of 2 hence the number of select lines m is equal to 2 so i have taken two select lines termed as s1 s0 over here and only one output will be there which is y next is the truth table now as we have two select lines so total four combinations will be written 00 01 10 11 1. so when the select lines are 0 0 output is a0 0 1 output a1 1 0 output a2 and 1 1 output a3 now let us try to write down the boolean expression once again students only one boolean expression will be written why because only one output signal is available in the case of a multiplexer so let us start zero means s1 bar zero means s0 bar so we have s1 bar s0 bar a0 s1 bar s0 a1 why s0 because s0 is one next is s1 s0 bar a2 and the last one is s1 s0 a3 so you can compare the same boolean expression which i have just informed you with the help of truth table so it actually becomes very easy to write down the boolean expression just by looking at the truth table now the next is logic circuit diagram so as already informed it to you try to draw both the select lines initially as it is and then through the not gate as well so i have drawn select lines and through the not gate as well that is s1 bar and s0 bar respectively so now let us try to calculate the answers for the output y with the help of boolean expression which i have just discussed the first one was s1 bar so you can see it over here s0 bar a0 so the dot was there between all the three signals hence and gate next was s1 bar s0 a1 next was s1 s0 bar a2 and the last one was s1 s0 a3 as there was dot between all these signals hence we have used all these gates as and gates last but not the least now there is a plus between all these equations which i have used plus means or gate so finally all these four outputs will be given as input to the or gate just to get the final output y now let us let us try to compare this logic circuit diagram once again with the help of block diagram which i have shown it to you four input signals correct two select lines correct and one output signal correct hence this is the correct logic circuit diagram with relevance to the block diagram of four cross one multiplexer now the next example is eight cross one multiplexer so now in eight cross one total eight input signals will be there starting from a0 till a7 one output signal is there which is y and now how many select lines let us use the same formula once again and we are supposed to get the total number of select lines to be equal to 3 that is s2 s1 s0 so this is first of all the block diagram of 8 cross 1 multiplexer next is the truth table and the boolean expression as right now we have three select lines so we are able to write down total eight combinations 4041 2021 and 0101 so for 000 a0 then a1 a2 a3 a4 a5 a6 and for the last value 111 the output is a7 once again 
just a single Boolean expression will be written because only one output Y signal is there. So now how to write down the Boolean expression? 0, 0, 0 means S2 bar, S1 bar, S0 bar, A0. S2 bar, S1 bar, S0, A1. S2 bar, S1, S0 bar, A2. S2 bar, S1, S0, A3. S2, S1 bar, S0 bar, A4. S2, S1 bar, S0, A5. S2, S1, S0 bar, A6. And the last one is S2, S1, S0, A7. So this is the Boolean expression you can verify. I have already mentioned it over here on the screen. And now this is the logic circuit diagram of 8 cross 1 multiplexer. Again, we will try to compare the logic circuit diagram with the block diagram. Here, we have total 8 input signals, A0 to A7. We have 3 select lines, S2, S1, S0 and 1 output signal, Y. So, we will try to utilize the Boolean expression that we have just calculated. The first is 0, 0, 0 that is S0 bar, S1 bar, S2 bar. You can see it over here, 0, 0, 0, A0. So, all four variables are having dot in between all, hence AND gate will be used. Then we have 0, 0, 1, A1, 0, 1, 0, A2, 0, 1, 1, A3, 1, 0, 0, A4, 1, 0, 1, A5, 1, 1, 0, A6 and 1, 1, 1, A7. 1 stands for S2, S1 or S0 accordingly and 0 means S2 bar, S1 bar or S0 bar accordingly. And now there is a plus between all these variables. Plus means OR gate. So uh, here I have used a 7, in, uh, sorry, 8 input OR gate over here. Hence to collect a single output that is 1. So this is the logic circuit diagram of 8 cross 1 multiplexer. Thank you so much.